you know, I'm always asked questions from clients, what should they be planting? And it's great to talk to you because you actually have the data and the evidence. A very big question. It, it all goes down to understanding the site, understanding what your growing conditions are. So if you, especially if you're in an urban heat island, you're going to be wanting those really tough plants. So you'd be looking at things like the oriental hornbeam or Asa tarcaricum. And, or Acer opalus, the uh, Mediterranean maple. It's really understanding that environment to really select our plants and not just planting something because it's got a pretty flower or pretty bark. Quercus cascanifolia, my favourite tree out of all the trees at Kew. I know we shouldn't have favourites, but this is my favourite tree. Can you educate me as to why it has got to this size and <laughs> what that tells us about the tree and its environment? Those conditions where this tree naturally occurs are so linked to Kew's growing conditions, both now, but also into the future. So we know that this tree is one of the future trees. I always think it's nice to bring that curiosity to trees and ask, you know, what can you show me about how we need to take care of you rather than yeah. let me get my chainsaw and... What we do now, we don't thin this. Like my first job, it, a lot of our work we used to do at Kew was crown cleaning, which was dead wood and thinning. That's what we did for predominantly the collection. Now that's for a visual reason, that was just so it looked nice. Whereas now we don't manage it like that. You can see we've allowed the inner canopy to now, re, now regrow because we know we need that inner growth to support this tree when it gets really hot and when it goes through that. This is part of its traits. That's why it does that because it's evolved in a hot environment to do that. We can watch how trees are going to change and react to climate change because we've got most of them here in one place. And that's really the importance of arboretums and that's why they're so important they're looked after because they are a big reference library. And that's what makes arboretums so important, especially ones like Kew, where we can do this research. If it was in a domestic garden, they'd be removed for more light to the swimming pool. So. Yeah, exactly, be crown lift to <laughs> five metres. So, you know, and that's what I really enjoy managing the trees here because we're always learning from managing it.